by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Oregon staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. You know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. From their own 36-yard line, first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. James picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. And he's tackled at about the 49. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 49. They go to the left for a nice game. Runs outside for a nice game. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. Third and a foot. Ball on the 41. He's tackled at about the 31. He's at the 20. And down he goes around the 17 yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 17 yard line. First down. around the 14-yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. They'll work the left side. Touchdown, Ducks! He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a nine play, 76 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. The score now, seven nothing. Oregon to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. bring him down in the backfield. They couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. Well, I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. They line up at the 13. Second down. 
And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. And off, and he won't make it. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. Powers is waiting for the snap. Johnson fields it at the 48. He steps out at the 40-yard line. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. And he's taken down around the 32-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Oregon up seven points. Now he tries to buy some time. Dives for extra yardage. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 18. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He gets another carry, and he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. to the halfback on the screen. The five. Touchdown, Oregon. They decided to go to the running back on that touchdown pass. Just a nice job by the quarterback of showing great patience here, going through his progressions, finally finding the back to get into the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. On the ground, left side. And they make the stop at about the 41. That's a first down here, and I'd love to see the wide receiver get a chance to get his hands on the football. You know, the offensive coordinator told us earlier this week they're going to do everything they can to get this receiver involved in the game plan, whether it means catching a ball or, at times, running the football. And there, he shows what he can do with the football in his hand. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. All on the 49. Tack 
tackle after a decent run up the gut. get back to the line. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Third down and they need to get it down to the 39. He's under pressure. Fumble, loose ball. And no one can get it, it bounces out of bounds. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Knocked out of bounds around the 27-yard line. Oregon's got a great offensive game plan in this one. Well, they are off to a great start. And sometimes you lose your focus when you start this fast. I think a challenge for them is just to maintain what they've done up to this point keep their foot on the accelerator. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Here they come. He's taken down at about the 35. On the catch, and he steps out. Wonderful play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted that first down. Good determination to get it. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 41. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Draw play, and the defense was ready for it. James is the punter. He's out to the 30, and he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. The Ducks have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 30. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's under pressure. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Fires it 
fires that quickly incomplete. The defense this time came with the blitz, and I really believe the quarterback and the offensive line have got to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out with pass protection. Otherwise, this quarterback's going to be running for his life. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Gives it to the back. He's at midfield. At the 30. And they finally push him out at the 20-yard line. That's always a big blow to a defense to give up a long run like that. You'll see a lot of those guys hanging their head. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. He's on the run. Tackle made at the 12. That brings up second and one. We played one. Oregon leads 14 0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. You'll get the call again. And they get nice yardage on that run. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he's tackled right around the four-yard line. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. He gets rid of this one. Here we go, folks. Third and goal from the four. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. The kick is up, and it is good. Oregon is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Red two, blue four. The halfback with a carry. They'll drop him for a loss. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. Second down and 11. Ball on their own 24. Five wide. Out of bounds at the 27.
So the offense fails to pick up a first down. When you face a defense that blitzes both corners, they're basically coming up and saying to you, hey, we're going to come after you and after you and after you until you show us that you can stop it. Powers to punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. He showed a good burst there. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Up the middle for a nice game. Going deep. You can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice. These guys know and trust each other, and you could see it in the way he threw that pass. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Nice run up the middle. Touchdown, Ducks! He's got two touchdowns on the ground today. That was just an excellent individual effort to find the end zone. And he converts the extra point. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Nice run there. Gain of six on the draw play. They're about four yards away here on second down. Quick throw, and down he goes around the 35-yard line. with room to work. Tackle right around the 46-yard line. From their own 46-yard line, first down. Throws a strike over the middle. He's tackled at the 45. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. And he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 18-yard line.
carries the ball for a nice game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. They'll bring him down at the two. That brings up second and goal. It's second and goal. Two yards to the end zone. Touchdown, Bruins. There are some guys when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. So the offense is going to go for two. He's in for the conversion. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Oregon's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. He laterals the ball, runs it right. Nice pickup. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 30-yard line. They'll run it. And they make the stop at the 28-yard line. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Now. He's to the 40. Brought down at the 41 yard line. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. He makes his way to about the 45. From the 45-yard line, first down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Here's an opening. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Now he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. around the 16-yard line. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. Here we go. Harden on the give. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. That's the senior safety that made that tackle. Great job of providing run support from the secondary. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. Birch takes him down behind the line at the 19-yard line. That'll make it third and 13.
Third down and 13. Ball on the 19. Seven yard line. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Kicks up, and he just drilled it from long range. They line up to kick this one away. Fielded at the four. At the 30. Inside the 30 to the 20. Touchdown, huge play. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. strike and he drops it the pass falls incomplete number one the intended receiver on the play second down 10 yards to go ball on the 39 yard line here we go under heavy pressure and he is drilled at the 33 yard line a loss of six yards on the play So the sack makes this third and very long. Here, here we go, D. Here, here I come again. Here I come Let's again. go. Red 18. Red 18. Looks to him again, complete. And he hits him hard at the 42-yard line. The Bruins using their third and final timeout. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. Once and all, going deep. And this one's broken up. And that'll do it for the first half. Still plenty of football to be played. The Ducks lead it by 20. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnover. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came upfield, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref 
signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 27. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That is a loss of five on the play. That makes it second and 14. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Here we go. That was really a remarkable catch. The quarterback didn't throw a good ball, but the receiver made a great play. First and ten, ball on their own 46. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And he tackles him hard at the 31-yard line. Well, that's a big gain there for the offense. And all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. And that's the safety who stepped up to make that tackle. That makes it second and eight. He might want it all here and does. He's in for the score and they're back in it. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. He makes the PAT. UCLA kicked this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 23. He makes his way to about the 32.
Tailback brought down for a loss. One yard loss for the halfback. And they're coming after this punter. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Gets to about the 34-yard line. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Up the middle. They'll drop in for a loss. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Set, 180, high, 80. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. From their own 25 yard line. It's third down. Mike Ford, Mike Ford. Set. Oh, 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 oh. They go right and he's tackled behind the line. That's a loss of one yard on the way. That makes it fourth and long. Powers is the punter. He's at midfield. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. Throws it, and oh, he dropped it. From the 49-yard line, second down. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's good for the game. Seven yards. That brings up fourth and three. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Gets it. He's in space. He steps out at about the 35. First down. Makes it out to about the 13. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. From the 13-yard line, it's first down. And now he pitches it. And he's tackled at about the 15-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires that quickly, incomplete. We've got third and 12. Ball on the 15-yard line. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in.
It's up, and it is good. Oregon is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 31. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Nice run, and he's brought down. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 37. Tackled at the 32. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That makes it fourth and four. Johnson is back to receive. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He'll take it from the 18, and he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. They'll get him for a loss. Second and 14. Ball on the 27. Let's it go. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. He's scrambling, and they got it. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Perfect timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31. Gives it right side. He fights forward to about the 30. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws this one away. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. 
They knock it down, incomplete. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and he splits the uprights. like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This Thank offense you. has to get rolling. That's a great tackle at the 33. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Nice run there. Four yards there on the carry for the halfback, and it's good for a first down. A little bit of over-pursuit by the defense gave him the room he needed to get the first. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's pushed out of bounds around the 47-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 47-yard line, first down. Harden takes the give, and they push him out right around the 38-yard line. Quick throw. He's at the 30. Tackle made around the 24-yard line. four-yard line. First down. Three down, three down. Mike four, Mike four. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. Two tights, two tights. Three down, three down. Ready. Got it, complete, and he's out of bounds. First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. That's three down and one to go. Oregon's lead is 19. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Makes a move and he's in for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. UCLA gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And now the ball is loose. Picks up the fumble. He's finally tackled at the 30. Well, 
Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep, those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a gain of five yards. First down. Wants to throw outside. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Makes the catch and look out. He lost the ball. The defense scoops it up. It's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? And down he goes at the 36. Second, and ten. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 36. Now he pitches it. He might have a chance. They'll bring him down at about the 49. to his receiver, no good. From their own 49-yard line, second down. He airs it out. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. That brings us third and 10. Pass complete and taken down immediately. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Run right side. And they'll get him in the backfield. From their own 41-yard line, second down. Stewart gets a ball left side. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Here comes the pressure. 
And he is drilled at the 35. Sack, it's now fourth and long. James is waiting for the snap. And he makes it out to about the 34 yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Nice run up the middle. his man and they take him down immediately so they're going to go for it here quick strike to the receiver tackle at the 46 yard line that was a clutch play on fourth down but they are still down a couple of scores and it's going to take some work for this team to get back into this game And he hits him hard at the 45. He keeps it and picks up maybe a yard. He was playing the run all the way and was able to stop him quickly. Good job by that senior safety. From the 45-yard line, second down. Steps up. And he's level at the 48. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. They've got one fourth down conversion on this drive. Now they'll give it another go. Defense stiffens on fourth down and the ball will change hands. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. Slings it. And they make the stop at the 36 yard line. That's good to be in 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 36 yard line, first down. He's tackled at the 26 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. And he carries the ball for a nice game. First down. From the 22 yard line. First down. Just under three to go in regulation. Tackle. 
Michael after a decent run up the gut. Quick strike, and he drops it. They're about four yards away here on third down. And he's tackled right around the four-yard line. That was actually pretty good defense, but a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. And he's taken down at the one-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. It's second and goal. Ball on the one-yard line. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. Touchdown, Ducks. The ground attack is iced this game with that touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Oregon ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25. They're ready to begin another drive. Just under two minutes in the game. Makes the grab and steps out right away. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Throws in a hurry. Incomplete. Almost picked off. That makes it second and ten. Watch the run. Watch the run. Mike four. He's under pressure. Here's the pass. Broken up. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Brought down at the 46. Call it a game of three yards. That makes it fourth and eight. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike Four. Let's go. Ready. Nice play across the middle. Tackle made at the 39 yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. That's a great tackle at the 28. And here's a quick throw. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. This is the eighth play of the drive. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Oh. 
just throws this one away. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 13. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Well, there's still life. I don't see a comeback on the horizon, but there isn't any question they'll be seeing an onside kick. So the coach challenges the call, and they're going to try to determine if the receiver made the catch inbounds. So the call on the field will be reversed. He's in trouble. It's intercepted, and that should do it. And he probably should never have thrown that ball. When your receivers are covered like that, sometimes as a quarterback, it's better to just take the sack than take your chances with a throw. They line up at the 12. It's first down. He makes it to the 15-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 17. This one's in the books in our final score, Oregon 44, UCLA 25. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.